We're talking with Dr. Julie Long about a condition that afflicts mostly young boys and girls. And lucky for us, Dr. Long can correct the problem with concave chest surgery. Sometimes people will notice this in their infants or in their young children. And some of those children, it can be a problem as they grow older. When children are really young, though, their chest is very mobile and very compliant, kind of rubbery. So it's a little hard to diagnose. But when people reach puberty and they start growing, that's when they'll really notice it if you've got a true sunken chest. And the medical term for that is pectus excavatum. In most cases, if their chest is depressed, as they continue to grow, it gets worse. So those children, once we start seeing it when they're 10, 11, 12 years old, we follow them to see what's going to happen as they grow. And then if it's getting worse, talk to them about doing surgical correction. It happens in about one in a thousand children. It's more common in boys and girls, but it can happen in girls also. And I think it's underdiagnosed in girls because as they're going through puberty and starting to develop, people may not appreciate that it's actually their sternum that's sunk in, putting pressure on their heart. They may just see it as normal changes that go along with puberty. So, it, you know, both boys and girls need to be checked for that. I'll admit, often the patients that come to my office, the kids' concerns are the way they look. I mean, we live in South Florida, let's face it. People are very conscious of their appearance, and people go to the beach, and boys are taking their shirts off, and, you know, they'll reach puberty, and they'll see this, and a lot of the kids, it can literally change their personality. They don't want to go to the beach anymore. They don't want to go to the locker room. They don't want to do sports. Um, It can affect them, and certainly um, adolescence is a hard time in terms of body image anyway. So the kids, I think, are often the first ones that start complaining, and their parents pick up on that and then seek medical attention for it. So if you have a kid that's very athletic, especially like a a distance runner or a swimmer where they're doing cardiac exercise, and most of those kids that are competitive, the more they practice, the better they get. Well, kids with this deformity will hit the wall, so to speak. They'll be doing their work. They'll be working out with their teams. The other kids are improving, and they are saying, hey, I'm working just as hard as them, and they can't compete because as you exercise more, your heart has to be faster and stronger to supply oxygen. And the kids with this, they can increase their heart rate, but the pumping action of their heart is not as efficient. So they just get winded quicker, and they have to stop, catch their breath, and then they can go on. It's not a risk for them to compete, but it interferes with their performance. 